Want to know when one of your Zigbee devices gone offline or monitor its LQI? Today we will review a couple of automations that helps exactly with that. Note that for today's video we will be looking at Home Assistant and ZHA integration only, although the same logic will apply to Zigbee 2 MQT. First of all, we need to ensure that we enable LQI entities across our ZHA devices. LQI stands for the Link Quality Indicator. It is an indication of the quality of the data packets received by the receiver within Zigbee Network, therefore, is a key indicator to determine whether your setup runs correctly. The higher the LQI value, the better. By default, many Zigbee devices within ZHA will hide or disable those entities. Enabling them is pretty straightforward. Go to Settings, Integrations, ZHA, and click through to any of the devices. Then look at the entities and find LQI and click Enable. Repeat for all devices within the network. It is also worth taking note of entity names for later on in this video. Now we will approach LQI values in two ways, from a daily report perspective and from an immediate drop below a certain point. An LQI value of 80 is considered to be good with anything below 60 needing attention. So we will take that 60 value and assign it as a numeric state trigger for all of our devices. The easiest way to do it without generating too many standalone triggers is to effectively list all LQI entities through YML as shown here. If you are not sure how to write it in YML, just pause this frame and copy exact for your environment. When done, we can temporarily go into the visual editor to assign trigger ID and to set up a second time trigger for a daily report. In my case, this report will be generated every day at 9 p.m. Now we can move straight to actions as there will not be a need for any specific conditions in this case. In action, we add choose to allow us to have two separate options to work with. Some people may prefer to keep automation separate, but I have too many by now, so focused on consolidating with choose where possible. First option will use LQI under 60 trigger and send you a notification specifying the entity name and its LQI value. Note that it may be best to direct it to your email or telegram as notifications are more frequent than I'd want them to be. Unless you have a spotless Zigbee network. If you are not comfortable with templates, please refer to the description of this video, copy paste into your automation, and add double angled brackets to either side of trigger state name and trigger to state. Moving to the second option, we choose our daily trigger ID and create a notification that lists all of our devices and associated LQI values. Note that device name is a just a type and whilst LQI leverages templating to pull LQI values. It is a bit of pain to write it up, but the outcome is pretty good. Of course, you may just settle on LQI under 60 reporting, in which case this second option will not be necessary at all. Uh, finally, let's discuss a different automation that triggers only when your device becomes unavailable. This one is little tricky as depending on the type of the device you will need different types of entities to leverage. But fear not, there is pretty straightforward solution for this. Simply create two or three or more triggers, each of which is focused on a subset of entities. In my case, first trigger is focused on all battery-powered devices by looking up their battery entity. The second trigger is leveraging identify entities for physical buttons. The challenge is that this is the only easily accessible entity type for button devices. Finally, for light, I just straight up leverage the light entity without any additional workaround. I'm sure there are more cases and options out there. The goal is to combine devices in groups and leverage similar entities for those groups. All three triggers are set with state turning to unavailable, so that it only ever reports you devices going offline. With that concluded, you will need a very simply notification action, similar to the one we looked at for previous automation. Once again, if not feeling confident, just copy paste from description or copy across by freezing the frame. In case of devices going offline, I prefer to send a notification to my phone, so that I know immediately if something goes wrong. With automations in place, these are the sorts of notifications you will receive to your preferred destination. Nation. And here you have it. Monitor your Zigbee network with little effort leveraging the power of automations. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.